If I do not put on a hat, I am 1000% gonna get roasted. Lucky I have it right next to me. <laughs> What's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna crack on with another uh, draft reload build. This time we're gonna rock with the Detroit Lions. Had this weird like, I wanna play with Jeff Akuda. Matt Stafford's getting on in years, let's be honest. I wanna draft a brand new fresh quarterback. Hopefully this year's class is a little bit better than like the other ones we've gotten. Just remember that you have to be an owner to make this work. If you want to do one of these yourself, the only thing you need to do is put relocation settings on. Everyone can relocate. Injuries off. Pre-existing injuries off. Ooh, we got all this now. Regression, I'm turning that off. I don't like that feature yet. Maybe I will grow to love it, but as of this moment, I don't love it. Let's check out the squad. Matt Stafford is an 82 overall? Bro, I, I mean, I don't know much about the Lions, but I feel like Matt Stafford should be better than that. We got Adrian Peterson, my favorite player of all time. Carry on Johnson, DeAndre Swift. Uh, we're gonna be trade. No, I, I can't trade Peterson, but he's, uh, hmm. What do I do? I gotta start DeAndre Swift just because I need him to develop as much as possible. It's business over pleasure. I'm sorry, AP. The O-line is pretty solid other than the right guard. We gotta get some work in there. TJ Hawkinson up at tight end. I really like our receiving core. Obviously, we got Kenny Golladay. I'm expecting a lot from Jamal Agnew. Not gonna put too much pressure on him to dominate straight away, but with the superstar dev, I definitely expect like an 85 overall by the final year. So we gotta go after a quarterback. That is 100% guaranteed. Okay, the linebacking core definitely needs work. Jamie Collins, big fan, mate. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. Why is Jeff Akuda fifth on the depth chart? Let's make you second string, my guy, because I need you. The reason I'm showing you the team is because I'm about to blow it up. <laughs> I'm about to go trade anybody. And I mean anybody that is 29 years or older is getting traded right now. I don't care how good you are. I should probably start by saying that if you've never seen a reload draft build before, basically, we have to try and build a Super Bowl worthy team in three off seasons. We're not allowed to trade four players, but we are allowed to trade for draft picks. When it comes time for the free agency, we are allowed to enter, but we can only sign one person max each year. I'll do you guys a favor and just blow up the team so you don't have to see all this because uh, it takes a long time. But yeah, I'll see you for a draft pick update. I just couldn't find it in my heart to trade away Adrian Peterson. Surprisingly, the Lions were a very hard team to get picks for because they had so many young players, you know? So, looking at it, we do have six first round picks. I did have to unload like our second, third, fourth. We didn't have a seventh. I did manage to keep all of our next year picks and I even got a fourth rounder out of Jacksonville. Kind of good here, mate. We got rid of a lot of pieces we don't need and we upgraded exponentially. I don't even know if that word fit in that sentence, but it sounded like it did. Okay, so we got our Daniel down at quarterback, the best quarterback in the game. I like that Agnew is now second string. He's going to grow a lot. We've got to get offensive linemen. Hopefully, Hawkinson can go to superstar. I really feel like he's got the potential to do that. Linebacking core is just destroyed. I had to get rid of Jamie Collins. Jeff Akuda, I think he's a superstar. Why is this guy not starting? He's by far the best. Wait, did we just beat the Packers? Hold on, there's no way. Oh, we got smacked by the Packers. Never mind. I was like, wait, huh? Kenny Golladay is already coming off contract, bro? I have to get him back. He is like one of the most, if not the most crucial part to this rebuild. Okay, fine. You want more money? Jeez. Why did you shoot me in the foot, Kenny? All right, so auto-generated class. Can we snag a quarterback? Please, 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 quarterback. Oh, this does not look good. There's a lot of DTs for some reason. I mean, I just love the name Johnny Judge, but he's just not talented. Nobody in this draft is talented. Hopefully something changes as the season goes on. But bro, like we need a quarterback and it's not like we can just trade for one. Oh, we are, re oh yeah, this is a reload draft build, not bad. Yeah, we are meant to relocate, aren't we? So I really want to become the Mexico City, uh, wait, they took away a team. Diablos and Golden Eagles. Okay, that's very frustrating. Come on, Madden. Come on, Madden. We're taking teams out of Relo now? Yikes. There we go. I just gave him like an extra 150k. He was like, you know what? I'll take it. Okay, so we pretty much need a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Justin Fuller might be that guy. Mid first rounder. We'll have to keep tabs on him. Okay, I'm not seeing a lot of early first rounders. Lucky, uh... Okay, not even you, bro. Yikes. What is going on? 
Ben? Oh, you're an early first. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we definitely don't need running back. We definitely don't need that. A third receiver wouldn't be the worst thing. Because Agnew, I don't know if we'll be able to carry like I want him to. Not yet, at least. Oh, this is so tough because the Diablos are by far like the better name, logo, jersey, ETC. But the Golden Eagles, man, like because I'm Aussie and I was born in Sydney, I was raised a South Sydney Rabbitohs fan and their colors are red and green. I can't go past it. We're the Golden Eagles. See, their jerseys are actually kind of nice. I do like this one. We got the yellow accents. Gold's big fan says, Feliz Navidad. Okay, say no more. We are two and three and the Falcons are one and five. I was going to get the Falcons first round pick, but I was like, oh, I kind of backed out of it. Now I'm really regretting that. <laughs> Early first round at Kasim McLaughlin. Chip Dick. All right, what do you got, mate? You're a mid. I'll slap you on the board. So I do like Cordell Booker. He's a second rounder, but a mid first round talent. If one of our picks ends up being late first round, like I assume it will be with that 29th pick, we definitely got to go get Cordell for sure. That's going to be a steal, especially since linebacker is such a massive problem for us right now. Somehow we're still winning games though, which is very odd. Like we're actually keeping up quite well with our division right now. And I'm not trying to. I traded every good player away other than the wide receivers. Okay, Chark Baker, that's my guy. Second rounder, 43rd projected, but he's an early first round talent. Gotta get this guy because the O-line is in desperate need of help. Not that we'll have a, a quarterback to block for, but yeah, we still need him. <laughs> View the playoff picture. I've never seen this before. What does it look like? Yeah, this kind of pog. I'm not going to lie. All right. EA props. Props. For sure. This is a nice feature. I really like that. Oh, I like this guy. Oh, he's a late. Never mind. Okay. I do like this guy though. Devontae Hillman. Early first rounder in the mid part of the second round. We need a safety. We absolutely do. I see that little D down there. All right, all right. This draft just got way too meta, bro. Like, yes, there's no quarterbacks, but we are going to set the team up completely around him in year one. That's how it feels, at least. As both receiver and defensive back, Dewan Miner was a player the likes of which college football has rarely seen. The Heisman winner is guaranteed defense, and that does not happen IRL. There's something wrong with the programming. Where is Dewan? He's not good at all. He's an early second rounder, so he's overrated. He is 6'5", I'll give him that. But he's projected early first, and he's a bit of a bust. Probably around 72 overall, I'm going to assume. Even less, probably. Might have a good dev trait, though. So we definitely have to keep eyes locked, but there's a lot of better wide receivers. Like Javon Cox is... Oh, wait, he went down to a mid. What's going on? Oh, everybody is changing now. Yikes. Oh my goodness. We got the best safety duo right here. Kevin Lincoln is a second round six foot four strong safety. Who's an early first round projected. We also got, where's my boy? Free safety, Devontae Hillman. If we pair Devontae Hillman with Kevin Lincoln, that might be the scariest safety duo in the league. Guess it's finally time to upgrade the players. I'm sure there's a lot of them. I'm not going to stick around. 46 players were upgraded. So Aaron Rodgers is going to win MVP. He had an amazing season, 13-3 and record. Don't imagine we're going to see a whole lot of Lions on this list. What about Rookie Bud? We got, yeah, DeAndre Swift. I thought so. That's why I really wanted him to start. Because he probably got boosted up at Dev Trade, ETC, Justin Jefferson in fourth. Jeff Akuda finished second. Oh, man. Chase Young already up to an 87, though. Josh Rosen was our quarterback. Oh, my goodness. As a Cardinals fan, yikes. Jono Swift at 816, four touchdowns. Pretty nice. Carry on Johnson doing his thing. AP got a touchdown. Glad to see it. Kenny Galladay, 882. Awesome. TJ Hawkinson, 761. And Agnew, 759. That is so good. Defense, what do we got? Can I see sacks? We got anything? Trey Flowers putting in work to Sean Hand. What about interceptions though? Akuda, you on this list? Yes, four interceptions. That is so good. Let's go. And he forced a fumble. Jared Davis, I kind of need you to stick around, buddy. The only problem is we have literally no cap. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't clear the cap penalties. By the way, that's another rule that I typically do with these. You have to clear the cap penalties. So we got 42 mil in cap room. This is more what I'm talking about. So anyway, we do get the privilege of getting one player. I would go after Marcus Williams, but 
He's declined me every single time I've done one of these. And on top of that, I would rather get somebody like Dupree because linebacker in a 3-4 is very important. Okay, I'm in front by a mile. If Bud Dupree does not come to Mexico, he did. Okay, we got Bud. Thank God. My luck has not been great in free agency, but we finally have the combine grades. And this is what I've been waiting for. Emmanuel Forbes is now an early first. He's first in 40, first in... Wow. This class might be a lot more pog than I once initially thought. Okay, Javon Cox. 7.6 combine grade. I might have to get more picks. Javon is like really good. He's six foot four, 220 pounds, and runs a 446 with a 40 inch vert. Oh man, I might, I got to. I, where's our draft picks? We got first, fourth, fourth. Okay, we're chilling. Kasim McLaughlin is a mid first, but he looks kind of nice. I need to go check out those safeties though. Remember those safeties in the second round? Devontae Hillman. This is my guy right here. We have to get this guy with one of our picks. And the strong safety as well. I almost like this guy even more. It's like, this is just like so amazing right now. It's like this class. When we started, I saw no quarterback. I was very disappointed. But now I'm completely changed my tune, mate. All right. So we picked up our good buddy, Bud Dupree. Now it is time for the draft with the first, fourth pick. We have to make the right decisions because you remember, if we do not draft the players we want right now, we're gonna miss out on them. We can't trade for them later. First year is always the most important because it sets the tune for the rest of the rebuild. We don't have a quarterback, that really sucks, but we've got to make do with what we have. It might straight up have to be Ben Hill or Justin Fuller. I might take Javon with the fourth pick. That's what I'm thinking. But I got to take Justin Fuller. Consensus number one. He did start off sloppy. Uh, I like him better as a player though. Okay, that's nice. That's a really good pick. 76 overall. Hidden Dev. We're actually starting off the rebuild with a Hidden Dev. Normally, we don't get hidden devs. 90 strength, 82 power move, nice. Good hit power. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, please don't take my wide receiver, bro. Ben Hill is gone. Do I know? <laughs> Dolphin's gonna dolphin, am I right? Jeez Louise, they really took the one minor with the third pick. Let me just check my draft board real quick because we got a lot of talent. All right, I think it's a no-brainer. Javon Cox looks like a legitimate generational talent. The MO adds up. The combine is great. The skills are great. The talent is great. What do we got? Okay. 75 overall hidden depth. Keep in mind, I'm not going to let you guys wait. I'm not going to cuck you like that. We are going to check out everybody's development. Javon is not as fast as I would have liked him to have been. 91 speed, 90 XL. It's, it's good. It's not great. Route running is a little bit raw. Catching is pretty good. Release. Jumping is 89. Wow. I really... I don't know. I got faith. I got faith. Hopefully he's a superstar. So we got the 14th pick. And if you don't mind, I'm going to go through this one by one. Okay. Aaron Harris was somebody I had on my mind. I just want to take the safety so bad right now, bro. Because if he gets taken, I'm going to be heartbroken. Wait, that's not even him. I keep getting them confused. It's bloody Devontae Hillman. Oh, man. So they're projected second, though. So we should be fine there. Clark Baker is the move. Let's go. 76 normal dev ranked fourth in true talent. Picked him up at 14. Helping out me O-line, getting them done early and often. You got to get that O-line done. 100%. Okay. And I hate to break it to you guys, but I'm going to take the safeties now. Because if I don't take them now, they're going to get taken. We got two picks back to back. I'm not risking it. Draft board, where are you? Devonte Hillman. Let's see what you got, my guy. I put up... Hey, I praised you a lot. So let's see what happens. 77 normal dev, but he is ranked number one in true talent. So it's a normal dev. Kind of cringe, but we got rank one. So it kind of balances out. You feel me? 89 speed. Not great. 94 acceleration. I will take it. 78 zone. Decent hit power. Project play out for sure. Devonta Hillman, welcome to the squad, my guy. Now, Buffalo, don't take me, me strong safety. They didn't. They, they busted bad right there. Draft board, gonna slide on down if you... Kevin Lincoln, here he is. All right, let's see what you got, big Kev. 70... Bro, this is the best draft, like, just ever, bro. He is ranked six in true talent. Hidden dev. We just got our safety duo. Back to back, both of these guys are studs. We got the linebacker, who's a hidden dev. The wide receiver, who's a hidden dev. 
I think we just gotta go Chip Dick. I mean, come on, man. It's Chip Dick. <laughs> I'm not gonna take him yet. I think it's definitely time for Cordell Booker to join the squad. Linebacker is a big issue I have going forward with this team. Then again, Taj Black. He's a mid-first rounder as well. Emmanuel Forbes. Okay. I put him on the board, but I don't... I've got to take him. He's an early first. 75. He is ranked 7th in true talent. We got him at 23rd. Wow. How did I not see this guy? Either way, I'm glad we got him though. All right, so your next pick is in round five. Let's go all the way to the next pick. I think we did extremely well in that first round. That might be my best Madden 21 draft yet. Way too many hidden developments. Maybe they patched it. I don't know. This is my first rebuild since then. And my boy Andrew McMullen is still here. Let's go. Early fifth. Ah, I mean, I kind of expected. Moving on. So, the only blocking fullback is Ben Schaffer. And he also looks like the best, so... 72, wow, that's a really good pick again. That was, uh, that was a very good draft. Let's go check out the developments. All right, so, wait, Justin Fuller, Fuller was it? Oh, he was eaten as well? Bro, I forgot about this guy. All right, come on, come on, come on. X Factor, X Factor, we got so many chances. Oh, come on, we're starting out with a star. That's not what I wanted. Let's go! Let's go! Superstar X Factor wide receiver, bro. Kenny Galladay, Javon Cox, and Agnew. Does it get any better than that? Look at me overalls. 76, 75, 76, 77, 75. Okay, we pulled one X Factor. This is freaking amazing, dude. Let's just see if Kevin Lincoln can complete the trio. He's a star. Alright, that's okay though. He's still ranked very highly in the draft. Alright, so already we're up to a 79 offense, 81 defense. I'm pretty sure that's better than what we had. You gotta keep in mind that we have Fred Flintstone at quarterback. And the fact that we're better than what we were with Fred Flintstone really speaks volume about this right now. Kenny Galladay is 100% a starter. We know that Javon Cox is an X Factor and we got Agnew in the slot. I am going to fix the O-line. Don't worry about it too much right now. Like, obviously, Baker is the backup at center. He would probably get changed around to better fit a position, whatever it may be. Just giving you guys an update on what we look like heading into Season 2. We also got our fullback, Schaffer. We also now have an empty playout. <laughs> um, other than that, we do have Bud Dupree. Very nice. We have Tavai. We're going to put him up to start up because he is a star development. Like, even though they're both star development, I have much more of an emotional connection to Lincoln than I do Walker. And then at DT, we drafted two of them in a 3-4, so you already know what that means. We're probably going to switch to a 4-3 in the next episode as well. That would mean that our D-line is also complete, okay? We need a quarterback and we need it in year two, fellas. But if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. Have a good day, fellas. I'm out. Peace. Hey, I love to talk. I don't talk. I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip it. Kill me. I'm a let it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire. I just need my credit. Wanna go far. Need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet. Touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.